Hello everyone, today is Monday, April 13th, and today is day 10 of the furlough. And so today, uh, following the alphabet, I'm actually skipping G because I, do, I no longer have my Godsmack shirt, uh, but here's a picture of it. And so I'm skipping to H. And I'm a little torn. Uh, I love Hailstorm, but they're uh, a band led by a woman, so I want to wait till a Wednesday, but they're H. So I did a little double dipping today, but I'm mostly going to talk about Hell Yeah. So the t-shirt I'm wearing today is from my third ship rock. So yesterday we talked about my first ship rocked a little bit, and this was my third. And my third one was actually headlined by Five Finger Death Punch again, so kind of tying that in from yesterday. Also found the picture of this ship rocks meet and greet with the with Five Finger Death Punch, which you didn't get to see yesterday. So here's that pic. Uh, on the back are the uh, bands for this con for this cruise. Headlined by Five Finger Death Punch, uh, ha uh, Hailstorm was there, and they're the ones who uh, uh, did the the first concert on the boat as we're leaving the harbor. So that was really cool. Uh, but this year, Hell Yeah was on the boat. Now, a little bit about Hell Yeah. They are actually made up of a few members from other bands. Now, uh, formerly Vinnie Paul was their drummer, and uh, rest in peace, he did pass away a, a few years ago. But he was their drummer, and he was from Pantera, and then Chad Gray from Mudvayne. And I'd actually seen Mudvayne. They opened for Metallica uh, on the second time I got to see them, so that was pretty amazing. And uh, Mudvayne, uh, th their sound is just very visceral. Like if you have extreme anguish inside of you and you were to personify it in music, that's kind of what it sounds like. So um, it's just very visceral. Uh, obviously lots of screaming, uh, lots of very, very, very heavy uh, sounds. So uh, Mudvayne, as I mentioned, kind of transitioned uh, from stylistically into Hell Yeah. And Hell Yeah uh, started off kind of more of a, a fun sounding band. So a lot of their songs were a little bit more upbeat. Alcohol and Ass is one of them. So pretty, uh, you know, more, it, it sounded like a party band at first, but then quickly went right back into some Mudvayne uh, sounds and lyrics, especially from some of their more popular songs that you hear today, such as Moth, uh, which is a really great song uh, about uh, not being able to be in a relationship um, and they have a song about you know uh, growing up uh, and having an abusive parent so there's you know some really good heavy stuff in there and uh, unfortunately, as I mentioned, Vinnie Paul passed away a few years ago. They do have a replacement, so they do still tour. And on this last ship rock just a few months ago, we got to see them again with their new drummer. Uh, Hell Yeah Live is just, you know, pure just as I said, anguish personified. When you see it on on stage, you know you just you just feel it with them. Uh, however, the sound does not translate well from the album live. So every time I hear them live, it just halfway through the song, I'm like, I think I know what song this is. So um, doesn't translate the best. Um, but uh, visually, um, at chat at one point, there's a song called Sangre por Sangre or Blood for Blood, and uh, one of the band members to start the song spits uh, a, a big thing of blood in Chad's face and so for the rest of the song it's just dripping with this blood and it's a really great visual uh, so uh, you know fun band to check out and I have a few uh, meet and greets with them as well to show uh, you at the end of this uh, to round out the video but that's just a little bit once again about another band hell yeah and uh, a little bit more about one of my times on ship rock so stay tuned tomorrow and uh, have a great day bye